everyone, welcome back to TGTV and more specifically, you'll actually see behind me there, I am here at the Nürburgring, my first time at the Nürburgring and I'm having a good time actually, the sun's shining and I'm here with Mini, because, ladies and gentlemen, because, 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 I have some exciting updates to announce involving a new car order and something that Mini have been beavering away on, in a, beavering away on in the background, a car that is probably one of the most hotly anticipated uh, hot hatches, uh, super hatches even, probably of the past five years. Really, really exciting car. It is, of course, the Mini GP. So I'm here at the ring, celebrating all things uh, Mini Cooper GP, basically. So behind me here, we have all three generations. We have the upcoming car, which we're going to go and look at in detail in a second. And we've got the previous generations behind it as well. So I'm going to have a little look at those, talk through the history of the car, uh, not bore on too much about that. Not bore on too much about that because obviously uh, you're here to see the new car. It's been moving around, I've heard it. Uh, there's some details now released on this car, so I'm gonna have a little walk around. This is obviously only a prototype. Uh, this is kind of a development car, but a lot of the final features will be present as they are on that car. The engine is going to be the same, so there's lots and lots of things to learn and lots to be excited about because from what I've heard, this thing is mega. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So we're here, kind of in, in mini village. There's a you know mini mini kind of accommodation here where everyone's been staying, and we've got these ridiculous cars. So I will not be going out in any of these. Uh, you'll be pleased to hear, but these are absolute chaos. These things, absolutely mental. And if you didn't know, John Cooper Works was involved in these. They are. That's super cool. Look at the doors. Chaos. Let's have a little look in here. Actually, I'm gonna go for a snoop. I know I've already been distracted. Bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Imagine who around there. Look at that dog leg gearbox. Chaos. Anyway, I've become extremely distracted. That is not what we're here to see. But this is very cool. <coughs> but this is very cool as well. I'm just going to poke my head in here. Hopefully they won't turn me off. Good Lord. Imagine being in here. So you've obviously got the driving seat over there. And the co-driver uh, co here. Telling him where to go. Mayhem. Anyway. Carbon door. Casual. Netting. It's a bit like my piece stretch, do Anyway, that's not what we're here to see. What we are here to see is this super, super car. I can't wait to talk through this car, it's so good. And I, of course, have got one on order. I've got one coming whenever they're being made, actually. We don't know exactly yet, but it's looking like 2020. So one of these will be hitting my garage. And I actually really like this wrap. Anyway, enough about that. So this is the generation, the current generation, really, the generation that you see on the road and the latest GP that has come out. Uh, it's obviously a few years old now and it is time for an update. This is actually powered by a, a two litre BMW based engine. It's a two litre engine anyway. Um, much the same as that, but with a lot less power. The thing about the GPs, if you didn't know, they've got no back seat and they've got a, a strut brake, so a, a structural uh, torsional beam in the back to uh, aid handling. And yeah, there's basically just stripped out. No back seats anyway, I've got no mates, so that doesn't really matter. GP badging, you've got aggressive styling all around, you've got this cool diffuser around the back. Um, one of my friends actually has one of these, Chris Jenner, he loves it, he's got a GT4 on one of these, he says this is the most fun you can have in a car. So that is gonna be monumental. They've upped the power, which we'll get onto, but yeah, this is the current generation, and this is a very, very cool car. I love seeing them about, very, very rare. There's uh, only sort of hundreds of them on the road. Anyway, this was the original version. This, I believe, is Thunder Grey, maybe? The cool thing about these, they're all numbered. This was the original version, <coughs> I believe. <coughs> God, crisp. I believe this was actually powered by the 1.6 supercharged engine. I actually had an R53 Cooper S back in the day. Absolutely loved it. Supercharged wine in it was amazing. Uh, and this is the GP version. This is the hardcore stripped out version. This was the first version they did of the new Mini, GP wise. Uh, they sold like hotcakes. 
residually, they're really, really good news. They've held their value exceptionally well. They're an extremely cool, rare car. Um, and it's really cool just to have all three of them together. I would imagine, based on what's going on here and the launch colors, the launch spec on the new car will be gray as well, some form of gray. They might buck the trend and go mental. Uh, this is obviously prototype kind of development wrap to kind of hide the shape of the car a little bit. And also um, it's got the Nurburg ring on it <coughs> and racetracks all over it. Right then, let's get on to this. This car, the new GP then, the new GP. This car promises to have over 300 brake horsepower, powered by a two litre turbo engine, which is absolutely stonking for this. It's the most power they've ever put in a production Mini, and it just looks unbelievable. You've got wide arch kit on there, you've got a new body kit, loads and loads of aero. These new headlights are sick as well. Absolutely unbelievable. Uh, everything is, at the moment, taped up, as you'll see, and we'll come around this, actually, whilst we're coming past. This is one of my favorite features, look. Like that i'm going to hopefully get out and show you this uh, so do stay tuned you've got gp badge on the back there it's all taped up one of my favorite features on this though these new rear lights they're like union jack very very cool down here you'll notice there's a very aggressive diffuser super cool and these kind of slash cut tips as well super super exciting and one of the main features of this car you'll see here peekaboo is this aero for this rear wing this rear wing here is mayhem look at the size of it that aero on there and i'm hoping and i'm pretty sure fairly confident that's going to make it to the final production car i really really hope it does that just looks mega sat there just look at it sat there and if you compare it to the previous wings they've always had pretty aggressive wings that's quite aggressive but compare it to that and also coming around here I think the Gen 1 actually had more aggressive than the Gen 2. Anyway, 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 we're coming back, we're coming back. So yes, over 300 brake horsepower on that. Promises to have lots and lots of torque. It is a two litre turbo engine. The mini John Cooper Works GP, to give it its full proper title, will be produced in limited units. There'll only be 3,000 of these worldwide. I mean, he's having a good time. He's as excited as I am. There's only gonna be 3,000 of these. So I put my order in probably about two years ago. I put money down and I said, I want one of these. Whatever is replacing that, I want it. I've had three, maybe four minis now, and this is set to be the ultimate, ultimate version of it. I cannot, cannot wait. Uh, also, something I haven't picked up on is this new wheel design as well. It copies the wheel design from the previous gens and over there as well. The wheels staying true to the same theme but slightly tweaked design. Come around as well, you'll notice there's big old brakes on there as well. Super cool. Again, some of the details will change on the final production car, I'm sure. So don't take this as gospel. There will be some tweaks. This is still being developed. It's now in the final phases of testing. It's going around tracks and they're, they're sort of fine tuning it and honing its ability. So uh, super, super exciting. But without further ado then, catch up with me shortly and hopefully we'll see one of these going around a track. Right then. The GP is now ready for me to go in, so I'm going to hop in and I'm going to go for the, probably the first spin anyone's been in online. This is, a, this is an exclusive right here, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm going to hop in, chuck a GoPro in, I'm going to give you some initial thoughts. Hello, sir. Right then, I'm in the Mini John Cooper Works GP. It's full title, I need to keep using its full title. I am with Jürgen here. Have I said your name right? Yes, that's right. Perfect. Uh, Jürgen's actually in the chassis development department. That's right, too. Basically making sure this car handles properly. And he will also be able to tell you some facts about the car that I don't necessarily know. So this is quite, uh, quite a rare thing. No one's really been in this car yet. Shut up. Sorry, we're just at the ring and it's absolute chaos. So we're in the GP anyway. The first thing I notice is this uh, strut brace across the back. What does that do? That is something uh, the take the take the taking out of the seat it means we, we lighten the car or make it lighter and the bar is to uh, increase the stiffness in the rear. Perfect. Which is important to get a perfect driving behavior. Awesome. So what is the main kind of headline exciting things about this car? Tell everyone at home it's what's so special about this car. You know it's the mini the pure mini, you know, it's lighter, it's, it's uh, powerful, the most powerful mini we've ever built and developed. And uh, yeah, it's stiffer because we, we increased it on the parts we need. We have uh, 
tires with more grip than the series cars and we wow. have this direct steering feeling and that makes a car like a Mini. And I can't wait to have a go. I really can't wait to have a go. I'm not allowed to drive it today, am I? I'm not allowed. No. Because uh, this is actually a development car, right? You, it's it pretty is. much all the way there, but you're now developing the DSC, did you say? Yes. Yeah. So it's kind of almost there. Almost there into a final kind of production car. It sounds good. It sounds good. Mm, of course. Like yeah, they all sound good. Lots of popping. We like that. And is this interior, is this kind of the final interior or is it going to change? It is more or less the final interior, but you know, there's still uh, some some parts to come. Some surprises? Yes, but more or less you see what it is. It's cool. Mini really, really nail interiors. The quality is amazing and the, the, the setup of everything. One cool thing, actually, I'm going to film it right now whilst we're doing the GoPro stuff. One cool thing is that there is the, the Nurburg lap time on there. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, I'm ruining it for everyone at home because the time is right there on the dash. And hey presto, we've got the ring right there in front of us. So that is uh, that's super, super cool. Do we know yet whether it's going to come with a manual transmission or will it come with auto only? Or are you not allowed to say that? You know, most of the cars today are with pedals because most of the customers yeah. are faster with that and they are easier to handle. Yep. So maybe you can think what is coming. Mm, I think that might have been a, a hint there. Uh, that's cool, that's cool. And the gear stick's actually different because I've, I've had a John Cooper Works before. Um, the gear stick looks slightly different. I'm just kind of spotting some changes. I like the fact there's no back seats. No one's going to ask you for a lift. That is a good thing. Um, when are we going to see them? When are they going to be start being delivered? When do we think? I think... Uh, it's not too far away, less than a year, you know. Really? Um, I'm excited. I ordered one about 18 months ago, maybe two years ago, when it was the first, first, like, mention that it might happen, I was in. I was like, make that car. I'm in. So hopefully mine gets delivered at some point. <laughs> Who knows? I'm sure it will. <laughs> uh, we, I said earlier in the video, 300 odd brake horsepower, 306 maybe? Yes. Yeah, 300, which is huge. I mean, the, lot, the previous generation GP was how? 218. 218, so that's so nearly 100 massive. brake horsepower yeah. more. Torque is going to be hugely up, I would yeah. imagine. And torque is what's the fun bit, really. Um, weight, I imagine a bit maybe down. It's a bit down in comparison to the series cars because yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the seat and, you know, the wheels are lighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a new wheel design as well, yeah. which I've, I've covered all that in the video already. Uh, and it's going to be a four-cylinder engine. Yeah, it is. Two-litre turbo. Yes. Awesome, it's a good lump, and it's kind of uh, developed with BMW, is it? Are we allowed to say that? Yeah. Right, the GoPro actually gave up on us there. Uh, I don't know what's happened with that. Um, does sound good. Yes. We like that. We're quite limited as to what we can say and show at this point about this car, because obviously it's not out yet. The launch hasn't happened yet. Um, but hopefully that gives you like an exciting taste of what it's, what it's going to be like. Uh, I'm buzzing. Personally, I'm buzzing. As you all know, I've ordered one. Um, I've had several minis already. I absolutely love them. So for me, this is kind of uh, the ultimate iteration of the ultimate car for me. So yeah, absolutely awesome. And it will sit in the garage alongside the Pista and all the rest of them. So I can't wait for that. So there will be spec videos soon when the kind of configurator comes out and the options are released and all the rest of it. But for now, let's do this. Thank you very much, sir. You're really welcome. enjoyed that. And um, yeah, safe driving. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing the, the, the finished product. Yeah. Thanks so much. Cheers, mate. That then is the world exclusive done. I really, really enjoyed my little time in there. Obviously, we didn't get a chance to kind of fully put it through its paces. This is not a car that is out yet. It is not launched, as I say. So there can't be any track time in it. There can't be any kind of first driving impressions, really. And even that was pushing it. That was a bit of an exclusive there. So hopefully you enjoyed that. And hopefully you're as excited for that car that's now in the distance because I've gone strolling. Hopefully you're as excited for that car as I am and I cannot wait to get one in my garage. Huge, huge thanks to Mini for the opportunity here at the Nürburgring. Subscribe, thumbs up, let me know what you think of the Mini John Cooper Works GP in the comments. Give me some spec ideas and make sure you're also following me on Instagram because I am causing mayhem over there on a daily basis. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye now.